Take a look. Um, we promised you that we're going to show you how to take an IBC container. That's what this is. IBC stands for Intermediate Bulk Container. And it's these huge liquid uh, squares in cages that they use to move around all kinds of stuff like detergent, fluid, foods, oil, anything. And people repurpose these, like Alan just said, for water a lot of times. But what we're going to do is take this IBC and turn it into an aquaponic system. Um, and it, there's quite a few steps. So we're going to start with disassembling the IBC and cutting it up and getting it ready. Now, all IBCs are made pretty much the same. They have a base, which is detachable. In this case, it's uh, by some nuts here that uh, we get a socket set and take that out. And they're all going to be the same size on this one all around. And up top here, these crossbars have to come out in order to get this out. And those are typically a star drive. In this case, it just happens to be a T30 that I had a socket for. Um, what are the odds of that? So, you just take out these screws and the bars come out. Now, before you do that, let's talk about how we're going to be using this. This is uh, one of the biggest intermediate bulk containers you can buy, 340 gallons. It's about five feet high. And people were saying, how are we going to get this inside the greenhouse? You can get this container inside uh, of any building because we only need to use um, this much for the fish tank. And these bars are actually going to help us draw the lines we need. And so the fish tank is only going to be 28 inches high. And the growing bed is only going to be 12 inches high. So this center piece gets cut out. Now what you want to do is keep the IBC in the container and get a Sharpie and just mark uh, a general line using the ribs here on where your cut's going to be. Then you can come through later with a straight edge and connect the dots. And this is just going to make it easier for you to get an actual straight line when we take this baby out. And these lines are going to be used later for when we cut it apart and we'll show you how to do that when we get to that step. But the first step is to mark this, to take off these rails, and take out the tote. So when we get to that stage, we'll be right back. So if you're wondering, these are not aluminum. Uh, that's what I was told from the guy who sold these to us, that they're actually some type of really bit, a crappy steel, white steel. So these will rust. And if you're going to be using it for aquaponics, uh, you're going to want to paint all this with some kind of rust-oleum. Also, the IBC is clear and lets the light in. Uh, you can't have light penetrating your fish tank or your plant tank in aquaponics because you will build up too much algae. So you're also going to want to figure out a way to uh, you're going to want to figure out a way to uh, seal that. You want to pop that side? <laughs> so you can cut these flanges to make it easier to take it out. Uh, these flanges right here that we're looking at. But you also want to save all the hardware. So it, you could easily cut this out. It doesn't make any difference. A couple of considerations that you want to make when you're buying these is that you want to make sure that when you look inside here and make sure that the o-ring is good and there's a good seal. Um, if you don't have a good o-ring and a good seal, because of the way we're going to be using this, you could just buy a really high-end silicon and put a bead in that groove and then twist it back on. But we are going to be testing the system before we fill it with clay pebbles or anything to make sure it's watertight when we get to that step. So we got the two bars off. Make sure you keep your hardware because we're going to reuse this for the grow bed. Let's uh, put that somewhere nice. And the nice thing about these is how light they are. I mean, and so we're ready to cut. We're going to be cutting it on the side. 
what we have now is the, the grow bed here, which is 12 inches deep. We have the fish tank, which is about 28 inches high. And we have a greenhouse door that we need to get into that's 34 inches wide. So easy, this easily goes in a 34 inch door. <coughs> and then the next step for us is to cut this cage. Now we're gonna be keeping this top part for the grow bed and this lower part for the fish tank and we're gonna be cutting off these stubs with a grinder. And so let's get the grinder set up and let's get that done. Long-winded. Yeah, some of these screws are real long, so be patient. <laughs> I got my utility knife and you just saw us using a, a cordless circular saw to cut this. I recommend wear a little better masks because I ate some of the plastic and I might uh, be dead in a year. But you can see all the plastic shards inside here. It's important to clean and rinse this now thoroughly. So that's our next step is to like disinfect this with a, a, a cleaner and make sure it's ready to go for food and fish. This is a waste a strip that comes off of most of these totes because if you can see the fish tank is maximum size, 200 gallons, and that's what will fit in the door. And don't throw this away. Take a look. Instant raised bed. And there you go. So uh, important when you're using a circular saw or something else aggressive like this, you're going to get this these fuzzes. So you're going to need to come along with a utility knife and cut the fuzz off. And that will just really clean up, nice up your edge. This isn't a, a quick project. It's a project that is um, 
well, what do they call it? Solar punked, where we're using trash to change it into something fantastic. And there's just lots of steps. So we're taking you step by step through the process on how to do it right the first time. Now, we gain this knowledge by simply watching dozens of different videos on how to use these IBCs in permaculture. And the model we're going to be doing is, you know, a compilation of all of those different techniques and we're halfway there. So the pumps and the plumbing is the next step and we'll see you on that episode.